Good afternoon, YouTube. It's your man, George Page, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, I got to give a shout out to this man. He is one of my favorite actors of all time. I've watched his movies since I was growing up. I've seen him in TV. He is a, a politician, an actor, a director. Uh, you know, it's just, this is just amazing, man. This is one Clint Eastwood Jr. Now, today is Mr. Eastwood's 90th birthday. Can you believe it? 90 years old. And um, most of you, if you like me, you grew, recognize it from the old um, spaghetti westerns, good and bad, ugly, a fistful of dollars, a few dollars more, um, it's the dirty, hairy movies, every which way but loose, every which way you can, um, uh, the Bridge of Madison County, Unforgiven. Oh, I love Unforgiven. That's uh, we, you know, we, if man, any man don't want to die tonight, you better go out the back. The guy say, you know, um, Gran Torino, his last movie. Um, the Mule, which was, you know, I think kind of like his, his last uh, movie as an actor, and you know, he directed the movie also. And that's been about a, a couple years ago when he did The Mule. And he is a legend. This, he was born in San Francisco, May 31st, 31st of 1990. I mean, um, 1930, you know. And um, Clint Eastwood was a young man. He was also, uh, you know, he was um, drafted into the military. He served some time in the United States, States Army. And after that, he started his acting career. Now... In the um, around about the um, early '60s, you know, he um, you know he started a series called Rawhide, and I talked about it before. Rawhide, his character was Rowdy Yates. He started off as the um, the uh, what was it? Not the. He started off as the uh, Ramrod, who was like, you know, the guy who like watch over the guys. You know, he then when the series, by the towards the end of the series, he was ended up being the trail boss. The actor who played Glenn Favor on the series had left, he got fired, and he died, you know, a little bit after he left the show. But anyway, Eastwood, you know, did movies such as, <clears throat> uh, one movie I've seen so many times is Hang Em High. And that's a classic one, because that's uh, the one where he plays this guy who gets hung for a crime he didn't commit. So he goes after all the guys who was involved in the crime, and at the end, you know, uh, one part of it, they try to kill him, but they didn't kill him. So he goes after the, the last three, the last uh, three guys left. Well, he got the, the other three guys to try to kill him, but end up, you know, he killed two. One hanged himself, and there's still two more he had to go after. But he is a legend. This man is just, you know, you watch Dirty Harry, you know, you seen Dirty Harry. You know, he played Inspector um, Harry um, Callahan. You know, uh, go ahead, and make my day. You know, the part we had the gun. So this is a, a Magnum 45 revolver, the most powerful gun in the world. There's, there's six bullets in here, and I, uh, my account, I could have, I could have fired five, I could have fired six. So do you feel lucky, punk? I mean, you know, I just, it's a classic. Those are classics. Anybody remember every which way you can or every which way loose, where he had the, uh, the uh, orangutan called Clyde, you know? But um, this is a, a man who's not just he was in also in a politician wing long years, many years ago. He was a mayor of a small city in called Carmel which was uh, in the early 80s. And then um, he really, you know, went back to his acting. He's the father of at least, uh, I think, five or six children. Um, he's been married two or three times. He has a, a daughter outside of marriage with a woman by the name of Frances um, Fisher. You remember her? She was in Unforgiven. She played one of the prostitutes. Also, um, a daughter with his last wife. He's not, I think he's not on his uh, third wife, I believe, right now. Or, you know, and also... Um, one of his sons is uh, Scott Eastwood, and he's, you know, he's, you've seen movies like, in, he was in The Fast 7, he was in um, uh, the last Pacific Rim movie, you know, he was in The Suicide Squad. He looks pretty much like his father. He has another son named Kyle, but, you know, uh, Scott looks a lo little bit more like his dad than, than, um, than his other son. But this guy's a legend. I mean, I still remember Good and Bad Yiggly. You know, if you ever seen that movie, that's a classic, like, wah, 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 and at the end, um, the actor who played um, Tuco, Eli Wallach, is about to hang him. He shoots him down because he does a trick in the movie. You know, he always, you know, try to get the money. So they, you know, he goes to jail and he, he shoots him down. It's about time to hang him. And then he falls on the money that they get from the uh, grave. And, you know, you see, you show the things where you show him. Um, he's ugly. He got um, Angel Eyes. He's dead in the grave. He's the bad. And Clint Eastwood's the good. And he's going like, hey, blood, you know what you are. Just a stinking son of the ah! That is just a classic. But Mr. Eastwood also had a little situation a few years ago when um, the year was about 2012 where he um, was at the uh, Republican um, convention talking to a chair. 
fake news, you know, um, supposed to be a, um, the chairman's represent um, Barack Obama. He was supporting um, then the presidential candidate, Nick Romney, and he was talking to a chair. <laughs> I, 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 right there, I lost a little bit of respect to him. Yeah, you know, we did that. I mean, but he is a Oscar-winning director, a uh, uh, war-winning actor. He's a philanthropist. He's a, just a legend. I mean, and I'm telling you right now, you got some time, especially if y'all still in self-isolation or in quarantine. Look up Good and the Bad and the Ugly. Look up Hang 'Em High. Watch the Dirty Harry series. I think there's four of those, four or five of those movies, I believe. I mean, they're great movies. And he was the guy for the precursors for guys like, you know, um, look, a lot of guys really much were followed what his, his, what he was. They, he was, you know, guys like Schwarzenegger and Stallone and a lot of the other action guys really still look at Clint. Even though he's in his 90s, he's still a legend. And much respect to him. This is your man, George Page. Like, subscribe. Don't like. Don't subscribe. I'm out.